It's not a regular it's not a regular it's not a regular Josh here, back with another video. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, I wasn't gonna make a studio tour, but I, I'm, I, des I decided that I, I might as well, since, um, I mean, it's basically a studio, but, uh, it, I don't have any, I don't have any music stuff. I don't have much music stuff yet, but I hope to get an audio interface soon so I can record guitar, and... I don't know. I'm just. I lately have been playing with FL for the past few days. FL Studio. It's been a real fun time. Okay, so. On uh, I have to use my front camera because my back camera, kind of sucks. Uh, yeah. So um. Here's my wall. Um, I have two boards. A uh, longboard and a skateboard. I don't even. I'm not used to my this one because. It's a shitty board, and it's cheap, and it was given to me by a friend, and I don't like it. Uh, here's a drawing I did in art class this school year. Um, Tyler Joseph of 21 Pilots. Pretty good. Um, I have some paintings on the floor, because I don't have many places to put them. Um, I'll show you some of them. Some of my favorites. Uh, okay. This one is a two-piece, um, I do a lot of painting, um, as you can tell, and, <laughs> that was an, an, uh, um, that was an abstract one that I did, it, that's probably one of my f absolute favorites, um, I have this one called, uh, Topography, it's pretty sick, um, a while back I was playing with paint and I made this weird skeleton thing, I have this reflection one on the wall. It's pretty cool. I spend a lot of time painting. I've, I've been an artist for four years now. I primarily paint, but I uh, I also draw. So um, it's pretty sick. Uh, I have a crappy, uh, not a crappy. It's not that crappy, but it works for what it's for. It's a Fender, Fender, <laughs> yeah, Fender Strat. It was a cheap pawn shop guitar that. I had to um, talk my mom into getting me a guitar because uh, I really wanted to learn, and I still am. I don't know a lot yet, but uh, uh, it's a work in progress. Uh, so uh, on this wall, I have a large painting that I finished this around this time last year. It's a 32 by 48 size canvas inch and inches so um, this took like seven months off and on my own on my own time to complete and I like it um, I have you walk over to this side of my room I have an acoustic guitar above my bed so I can just rip it off the wall and play some <laughs> I wouldn't say chords but <laughs> fucking just fuck with it um, uh, yeah, I, it's just a, it's a black jasmine guitar, I don't really know the brand, but my friend gave it to me, and it's really good. Uh, it's a great acoustic. Uh, my friend didn't want it anymore, so he gave it, he just asked me if I wanted it, I said, <laughs> hell yes! Um, last, end of last summer I learned ukulele. So it's, first thing that really got me into wanting to play music is that ukulele. I have a mirror up there. Well, I don't know. It's just an odd position, but all that's for is to bounce some of the light of that lamp, which I have on a remote remote control. Um, I made this lamp uh, sometime last year. I can't really remember. Time goes by way too fast, but... Um, it's like a, a retro uh, light bulb, and I need to I need to solder it because if you can see the green at the top of it. That's electrical tape, and that's the only thing holding the wire to the um to, to the socket. And uh, yeah, I, I I just got a soldering iron like two or three weeks ago from my grandma, 
because um, I've been wanting to do shit like this for a long time. I just never had a soldering iron. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, I need to do that at some point. This wall, this is a crazy wall, okay? So I have um, something colorful, I don't know. Um, I did this, if I can get a good lighting. Uh, I did this um, in uh, art this year, towards the end of the school year, because um, I wanted to paint. I wanted to paint something that remind that was that remind not reminded me. So I wanted to paint something that was. Um, I wanted to recreate what I what I. I wanted to, I wanted to recreate what I saw in my head when reading Lord of the Flies, so, yeah, it's gruesome, but I like it. Um, did this one a few weeks ago, I don't know, it gives me, uh, like, some, I don't know, it's just, I, I really like this one. Um, a few months ago, I kept getting into my. I, I had this mindset of, oh, I really want to paint and it'd be so much fun, but I can wait until summertime because I'll have a lot more time and I can just immerse myself in painting. And I said, no, I need to stop it because I was getting really stressed and I didn't have any outlet at the time. Well, not I had an outlet, I just didn't use it. And so I made this one called, uh, I don't, it doesn't have a title, but. Um, it says, time does not wait for you, and it makes me feel inspired to do something. Get out of my bed, do something. Um, I was experimenting with um, acrylic pores. It's my, it's a, I like that one. We had to do this in art, um, just a drawing of eyes, but I really like it because sometimes, I remember when I first put this in my room, um, I would wake up and think somebody was staring at me and <laughs> It was a great time. <laughs> um, a few months ago, uh, well, I did this about a year ago, too. I just painted it. Um, it's one of my first things I did with oil, because I'm accustomed to acrylic paint. And But a, but a few months ago, um, I wrote a bunch of inspiration on it, and it looks insane, and that's what I was going for. Um, I, have, uh, I wanted to get like the, the Italian-looking fields... Uh, with a sunset. I thought that was a cool idea. Uh, um, some crazy abstract. It's always fun to do abstract. Uh, did this one. This sea green right here, this part is still kind of um, damp because um, I used toothpaste on it. Uh, yeah, I just had a tube of toothpaste lying around, and I said, fuck it, and I just, <laughs> it's still, it, I mean, it's mostly dry, but, and it won't, it's not going to go anywhere, but you can still tell that it's a tad bit wet. Um, some abstract uh, watercolor that I did, I really like that. I, recently I drew um, Trent Reznor, Kurt Cobain, and Marilyn Manson. Uh, I don't know, I just really liked how they turned out, so I put them next to each other. And I, I didn't realize this until afterward, but once I put them here, it looks like they're Trent and Manson are looking at Kurt. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, I have another abstract back here. It's acrylic and gold ink. You can't really tell because it's not really shiny in this. There's no white in this corner, but um, yeah. A mandolin. Um, my grandfather got it for me a few months ago from a pawn shop, and I I don't know how to play it, but <laughs> every once in a while I'll rip it off the wall and start strumming it. I have a I have a record player right here next to my bed. Um, I have a bunch of records, which consist of I'm gonna put them on my bed so I can show you. Um, so I'm a really big fan of 21 Pilots, that was my first love. Um, I didn't really have a genre until I started listening to 21 Pilots, and I got into a lot of rock after that. 
even though they're not really rock, but, um, yeah, okay, so, I bet I have Vessel by Tornado Pilots, uh, Blurry Face, um, and Trench, and they're all Tornado Pilots, this one in the back, and then I have Follow the Leader by Corn, and Issues by Corn, and then I also have, um, uh, Toxicity by S System of a Down, and, um, I have Discovery by Daft Punk. Uh, I mean, it's a small collection, but it's growing slowly. Um, I also have some CDs. I have um, Trench by Tornal Pilots. I have uh, Discovery by Daft Punk again. And then I have Lest We Forget by Manson. And it's uh, favorite ones. It's cool. There's a lot of good ones in there. I have one Beatles. It's good. Um, I have a small amp for my guitar, and I have a I have um, I have an EQ. It's cool. Um, it works works for its purpose. I had a distortion. I had a very very cheap distortion that wasn't the best. So I um, thanks to Simon, I took it apart and. I'm using its components because, uh, I mean, the EQ, I can overdrive on the EQ, and, I mean, it, that sounded better than the distortion, so I said, you know what, I'm just gonna take, take all this shit out, I don't need it. Um, speaking of that, I tried right here, okay, so this is, before I start about that, that's, this is my art desk, um, I got pencils, uh, markers, um, brushes, and all my paint and stuff, I have a huge bag. This is my brother, one of my brother's old baseball bags, and it's heavy and it's full of like small uh, tubes of paint. Well, not just small tubes of paint, I also have pretty large ones. Um, I don't feel like getting them out. A year ago, I got um, uh, an Arduino kit and it has a bunch of different components in there. Um, uh, there's a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I was trying, I was trying to make a simple oscillator. It worked for a little bit, but then it stopped working. I need to keep messing with it because I like to use it. Um, <laughs> I um, I took apart. Uh, thanks to Simon again. Um, I wanted to uh, try circuit bending, and this was the toy keyboard that. Um, that I circuit bent, but then I tried turning it on again, and it died for doesn't seem like any reason. Uh, I don't really know why. Great, thank you, Simon. <laughs> um, but and then I also f I found on um, this is the uh, this is the circuit board for um, the keyboard, and I found a point a test point where um, a uh, bend point where uh, it kind of oscillated, kind of, but then I had to use the, uh, the quarter inch jack for the actual oscillator that I was going to make, but now it's not working, so I need to fuck with it so I see what I can do with it, and then I have the, the, these are, really comes in handy, and, I mean, it was cheap, it was only like five dollars or something like that, but you don't have many hands, and if you're going to do soldering shit, you really need to get one of those. Um, yeah, down here I have a bunch of, I have paint and brushes and a Dremel and, um, a whole bunch of shit. I have a box of screws and nails and stuff. Over here, um, I mean, this is my, this is my dresser where I keep my clothes, but, um, uh, my grandfather, uh, I went to my grandfather's attic and I got this programmable, um, radio scanner and I got a cassette player that's also uh, it's just a radio. Um, he has a bunch of radio stuff because I guess he was into it for a while. Um, but I took it apart to get some co components out of it. Um, I actually got the ca this uh, cassette tape um, controls and stuff that's really mechanical. I don't know. I love it. I like it. It's awesome. Um, 
what fell earlier was one of the pallets that I was hanging on my wall. <laughs> it yeeted out of there. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, and here's the desk. Uh, my my uh, computer is using this for a monitor, a TV. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the computer is embarrassing. I'm not even going to say the specs because it was... The specs are superior for um, 2007. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Um, the only other mic I have at the moment... What, this is why I need an audio interface, because the only other mic I have is a, a crappy rock band USB mic. I mean, it does its job when I actually record things, but... I don't know. Um, I have some uh, drawing books. I was starting to draw somebody else. Um, I have two books. It's always good to have a book around because um, I fill one of these with a bunch of different ideas, just stuff that was in my head. I don't know. It's fun to fill books. I, I recommend just filling a book with your ideas because it's awesome. Um, let's see what else there is in here. Hmm. <laughs> I have a um <laughs> my old Xbox 360 down there and uh that's connected to this TV and hello, I have a mirror right there. Um, and some I have some drawings in the corner. Those are pretty cool. Um, uh, like all of you should have. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't have. A bunch of wires, drawer drawer of wires. Um, ah, um, drawer of old components and stuff. It's kind of necessary if you're gonna mess with things like that. I have a no, my really old computer. Um, I use and use it for um, if I need to pirate a new version of Windows. If I accidentally like fuck up this one, I have another one to have another one to use uh, to put it on a, a flash drive so I can boot this one again. Kind of comes in handy when you you don't think you need it, but you really it's really useful. Um, let me see what else there is. I think that's pretty much about it. Yeah, this has been my it's been my studio tour. Um, I mean, it's my room, but it's, it's one of my favorite places because I can just do anything in here. I mean, not anything, but I don't know. I stay up many a nights just um, having fun. There's just so much to do, and it's I like I love my my space. Thanks for thanks for watching and see you on Discord. I mean Discord the Discord server is great. If you're not on it yet, get on it. It is so much fun. I've been on Discord for about a month now on the server and ten out of ten recommend it's it's a fun 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 time. And I can't even believe it's already a month. I don't know if I said that or not. Um yeah, you 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 get on it because it's nice. Um, and I think that's about it. Bye.